What's up, Vitality family? We have a two circuit workout for you today. So we're gonna step it up and do four rounds of each circuit today. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and yes, you heard me right, four rounds instead of three for each of those circuits. So without further ado, we'll get to it. Exercise number one of our first mini circuit, we're gonna do thrusters. So that's kind of like a push press, except we're gonna use a larger range of motion for our squat, okay? We're gonna come all the way down and then press up, right? So from the side, if you need to limit the range of motion, you can. But if you are able to, we're gonna go for that full squat and press up. Now if that press overhead, bothers the shoulders like usual, we can just skip that and stick with a dumbbell squat with the dumbbells in that wrapped position up by the shoulders, okay? Second exercise, we're gonna get nice heavy dumbbells or some heavy bags, uh, water jugs, whatever you've got, and we're gonna do a little farmer's walk. So that's nice tall posture, weight at the side, shoulders back, stomach engaged, and you're gonna do a speed walk short quick steps about 20 feet one way and 20 feet the other way if you're like me and the space is limited we're going to march in place holding that weight now the exercise is going to be a little different if you do just mini marches you won't get quite so much try and make that a nice tall march right you'll get a little bit more bang for your buck out of that one and then the third exercise for mini circuit number one is just going to be a standing calf raise. I'm using a stool. You can do it on a bottom step. Just up and down, letting those heels hang off uh, the step a little bit to increase that range of motion. If you don't have a step or a stool, just do it on the flat ground. It won't be the end of the world. All right, for circuit number two. We're going to do some sumo deadlifts. Sumo refers to the stance. So wide stance, feet pointing out. We're going to get a little bit more hip mobility with this one. Kettlebell or dumbbells in between the knees. And again, knees pointing out, coming down. Still keeping that upper body with a neutral posture, but really getting more of a stretch in those hips, right? And again, shoulders back, chest up for that one. Next, we're gonna get on the floor. So first I'll show you an alternate exercise. If the renegade row that I'm about to show you is a little too tough, stick with that bent over row standing, okay? Just like so. But if you're up for it, we're gonna try a renegade row. So you're in a push up or a modified push up position and we're gonna row one arm and the other using the core to stabilize, right? As we row one side and then the other, squeezing those muscles in between the shoulder blades. And then for our last one, you can use a weight on the hips for this one or just do a body weight. We're going to do a bridge hold if you can for the full 40 seconds, if you want to make it a little more difficult, throw in an optional march. Nice, slow, and controlled. All right. So that's it for our two circuits. For our stretches today, we've got a child's pose, sitting back on the heels, arms long, head down to the ground. Breathe 60 seconds. Just like so. All right, then we've got our figure four hip stretch. One foot on the opposite ankle. Hug that leg to the chest. Two times, 30 seconds each side. And then last but not least, you can use a step for this one to do a little calf stretch. Again, two times 30 seconds each side, or you can do it 
against the wall, one foot forward, one foot back, pressing that back heel into the ground, and then switching. Same thing, two times 30 seconds each side. All right, hope you have a great workout. We'll see you on the next one.